Hi, I'm Mike O'Brien, creator of AP Bio. Yeah, and uh, I'm Glenn Howerton, and um, you're watching Anatomy of a Scene. Basically, we're going to break this down for you, to tell you how we shot the show. Hey, Daddy. You remember my dad, right, boss? We're yeah, watching a work I montage from dad, an episode in season two. So if we can pause right. it there. You see on your screen right now, the number three, the um, butcher shop next number up was a big discussion. What number would be funniest and everything. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me, you see the three people. It should be three. It has to be three. The holy trinity because the dad, Heather's dad, is like the father. You'd be the son because you're in right. his world. He's uh, teaching you. And then if you've seen even a second of the show, you know Heather's basically like a Holy Spirit character throughout the whole thing. And then you go, oh, the Holy Trinity, of course. Yeah. Right, of course, now right. it makes sense because yeah. there's three of them, the number three is up, there's three versions of God. Right, right. Uh, there's, I think, nine sausages in the bottom right there. That was Which, all. of course, is divisible by three. Let's keep rolling. Oh, just gonna put it on the fist there, all right. <laughs> Every butt loves a rub. Uh, I love that. So simple. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, actually, yeah, pause it, it here. Yeah. So we did, I mean, I think we did at least 100 versions of at what least. the slogan would say. Um, and actually, when we did this take here, this was the first time I actually found out which one we went with because I didn't know what you guys had printed on the apron. That's right. Every butt loves a rub. Yeah. Boy, I got a real chuckle out yeah, of that. Yeah, that was real. Some of the lesser ones that we didn't use were like... Um, what what are your stakes in this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one yeah. we did end up yeah. using. Nice to uh, meet you. Right, I right. I think was one yeah, also. That's, like, that's a little yeah. better. Yeah. The whole apron department it was great this year. Yeah, they, they were, were amazing. They were terrific, yeah. And even even though, you know, all they had was just this one thing, but my God, I mean, you yeah. poured a lot of resources into this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, oh. um, actually, pause it here, yeah. So this this is actually really cool. Movie a lot magic. Of, this is movie magic because a lot of people don't realize this, but when you have an actor, you know, do something like digging around in raw meat with his bare hands, you don't want that to, to make him sick. You don't want to get salmonella or, right. you know, botulism or whatever the hell comes from you know, digging All around raw meat. It's nasty, whatever it is. But so what we do here in Hollywood is we actually, um, we have the hands of a corpse and you, you just, you just remove the, the skin from the corpse's hand and you turn it into a glove. And yeah, those are, that's uh, some dead guy in uh, Tennessee's uh, hand skin. Um, and that way, you know, Glenn doesn't have to touch the gross uh, meat. You just slip those suckers on and uh, it's pretty cool. By the way, this is something you can do now, which you may not realize you can donate your hands uh, you know, the same way you can donate your organs or whatever for, right. for, you know, you can donate your hands to Hollywood. So, you know, check next time you're at the DMV. They love talking about stuff like that. As long as your hands don't get jacked up in your um, mm -hmm. death or murder or whatever happens to you, you could send them to Hollywood and they could be on the big screen. Yeah, kind of cool. Hey, I was just curious. Uh, are you guys mad at your wives? Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, okay, so so the uh, the main construction worker, that's actually a good, uh, that's a good buddy of mine. And uh, this is kind of a fun fact. We wanted to put him in the show because he was originally actually cast as the as the lead. As Jack, yeah, he, he, he was, was he was Jack for a week. Yeah, he was Jack for for a full week, and then um, you know on the first day of shooting, he gets tickets to The Price Is Right, which is yeah. tough. That's yeah. a tough ticket. It takes forever. Yeah, yeah, on the waiting list. And he's just a big Price is Right fan, you know what I mean? Loves it. And he's like, I, I cannot pass this up. So he's like, I got to go. I'm going to go do the Price is Right. He yep. calls me up. Yeah. At super last minute. Crazy last <laughs> that minute. That morning. Like, what, yeah. yeah, the morning of. And he says, hey, Glenn, you got to do me a solid here and go be the lead of this NBC you know, show. And I said, well, I've already got a, a show. Although I'm taking a little bit of a break from that. So he said, why don't you go meet Mike, you know, um, real quick and just see if you. And I said, look, whatever. Yeah. I you were like, just like, I was like, yeah, man, whatever. Uh, and Glenn swung by, and I was like, where's the other guy? And then he was like, oh, he, he got Prices Right tickets. And I was like, all right. He got it right whatever. away. He was like, yeah, that's a tough ticket. That's a tough yeah. ticket in town. Uh, but yeah, and then we were like, we should find another place for him, though. He was going to be like the lead of every scene. And we finally figured this one out because the other thing he could do, other than being this like irreverent teacher, is to be an annoyed uh, construction worker. Those yeah. are his two main yeah. kind of go-tos. That was like the thing that he said, Mike, this is what I do, you know, right. when he was coming for the job. And I'm like, all right, well, let's then do the other thing. Yep, yeah. <laughs> What's your other show? Uh, it's, always, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Very cool. Yeah, it's been on for 13 years. Very, very cool. Check her out. Okay. Back to work. No, 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 not that wall! So that was another, uh, well, I was going to say fun moment, but not so fun unscripted moment because Glenn really hit the wrong wall there and yeah. made this big hole yeah. 
in an actual wall where we are shooting in New York yeah. in 30 Rock, and um, <laughs> that is the wall to Lorne Michaels' executive bathroom, yeah, as we a, found out. It was a perfect place to shoot because they were doing, uh, they were actually doing some construction in the uh, Broadway video Lorne Michaels' offices. Yeah, and then, and so it was like a perfect place to shoot. It was like all set up already. It was like one of the only things we didn't have to work super hard on was creating this set. And they said, the only thing you can't do is bash that wall because that is Lauren's private bathroom. Right, right. You know, it's that thing that you work so hard for. You're like, I finally got an office with a right. private bathroom. Right. You know what I mean? And and you hearing that, it's like, uh, don't look at the elephant in the room or yeah. whatever. You know, you're like, okay, so d don't break through this wall. It's his private bathroom. Sure yeah. enough, first take. Boom. Boom. Big hole in the wall. He looks in there. Lauren's doing that charcoal toothbrushing thing yeah. And, yeah. and turns it like, <laughs> he's like yeah, no, no, really. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> and he's like, hi, Glenn. And you were just like, hi, Lauren. <laughs> hi, Lauren. And I think he was like, this isn't okay. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Uh, he was mad. He was pissed. He was pissed. But his teeth look great and too he's white. cooled down. Too Maybe white. too white. Yeah. yeah. It's like at a certain point, you're like, well, your teeth should not be that white. Yeah, they're stealing the your eye thunder. Look, yeah, right, look, right. Look the eyes a little bit magic. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it. This has been Tricks of the Trade. Um, I think it's been Anatomy of the Scene. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. Thanks for taking the time to watch, watch, this, uh, watch us break this down for you, and now you understand, you know, why our show is pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why our show is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, check out Season 2 of AP Bio. I'm Michael Bryan. And I'm Glenn Howerton.